Good morning, church family. My name is Chase Durham. I'm the student pastor here at Cottonwood. In just a few moments, some people are going to be stepping into these waters. And I just I want to remind you all of what baptism is. It's a symbol of what Christ has done in each and every one of their hearts. Just like Christ was buried in the grave, these people are going to demonstrate that by being buried in the water. But then Jesus didn't stay in the grave. He rose and he walked and he lived and he's alive right now. And so likewise, these people are going to come up out of the water and walk out in the newness of life that Christ has given them. And so these waters do not save anybody, but they rather put on display what Christ has done in their lives. And so now I'd like to welcome Jim Sanderson and the Logan family. Jim, come on down. Jim Sanderson is a Bible uh, teacher here, and he is actually going to perform the baptism of Paul and Carrie Logan. As Chase said, this is Paul and uh, uh, Carrie Logan, and I'm the privilege. I have the privilege of being their life group teacher. And if you're a friend, family, and I know our life group has uh, taken the break this morning to come in here and watch you guys baptize, if you go ahead and stand and encouragement to them, uh, would you two face each other just a second? Now, both of you have received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Is that right? Yes. And that was some time ago, right? Many years. And uh, so you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, was buried, and came back to life. Yes. You believe that? And today you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes. 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 All right. Carrie, if you'll step right back there. Paul, right here. All right. Paul, upon the command of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and upon your public confession of faith in him, I baptize you, my brother in Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in the life. Carry upon the command of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and upon your public confession, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, ready to walk in the name of Now it's my joy to be able to baptize their two boys. Luke, would you join me in the water? This is Luke Logan. Luke, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And where were you when you were saved? I don't quite remember. I was young at the time. That's awesome. Well, Luke, it is my joy and privilege to be able to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baby with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in the newness of life. Yes. And now his younger brother, Shane, Shane, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, yes I have. And where were you when he saved you? McKinney, Texas. McKinney, Texas, amen. <laughs> well, Shane, it is my joy and privilege to be able to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise to walk in the newness of God. Hey, church family. I'm Robert Bennett, one of the ministers here at Cottonwood Creek. I had an opportunity to visit a couple that's about to be married in July. And what they want to do today is come and just rededicate their lives to Christ as they, they move into a marriage. And they just want to show everyone that Christ is first in their life. So with that, guys, they have been baptized years ago. But they want to rededicate, like I said. So you guys, have you accepted Christ as your eternal Savior? Yes, yes I have. Christy first. Ladies first, always. <laughs> Got to give just right. <laughs> Christy, as your profession of faith, I baptize you, my sister, in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, raised to walk, buried with him in baptism, raised to walk in a new life. <laughs> this is Michael Norman. He is... Uh, like I said, he come and said that he really appreciated me baptizing. I, I, I appreciate him letting me baptize again and rededicate that life. So thank you so much. Michael, have you accepted Christ as your eternal Savior? Yes, I have. 
With that, for that, my brother, I baptize you in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bear with him in baptism. Raise you all in a new life. Pray with me, church family. Father, we just thank you so much for these that have uh, come to receive the gift of baptism, Heavenly Father, how they're just displaying you, Father. They want to recognize you as their eternal Savior, and this is a public way of doing that, Heavenly Father. So I pray that you be with each one of these families, Father, the, the boys, the young boys coming up, Father. I pray that you just be with them, and they always put you first in their lives. Father, thank you again for this time that we have, that we just gather together and rejoice of the people that is being baptized. Thank you again for this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good morning, Cottonwood. I'm Dave Marsh, the children's pastor, and I am so blessed to be here this morning, and I'm glad you're here. We have three people who are coming to be baptized, two children and one adult, and so what a glorious morning to uh, be here for baptisms. Uh, this uh, water from the city of Allen has never washed a single sin away. It's the blood of Christ that washes the, our sins away, and these people have already, by faith, trusted in Christ to save them. Baptism is an act of obedience that God calls all of us to do once we've received Christ. And so uh, Jesus was even baptized. He didn't need to be, uh, but he wanted to identify himself with us. And so he asked you and me to identify ourselves with him in baptism, in believer's baptism. And so this morning, First of all, we have Grace Clow, and Grace is nine years old. Is that right, Grace? All right, and Grace is coming to be baptized this morning. If you're here, family or friends of Grace, would you please stand in honor of her decision so we can honor you as well? And Grace, have you received Jesus as your Savior and trusted him to forgive your sins? Yes. And Grace, where were you when you received Christ? At home. At home, okay. Grace based upon your testimony of faith in front of all these people, I get to call you my sister, and I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. And this is Carter Brown, and Carter just could not wait to get in these waters. He was in a hurry up there. And so Carter, if you're here with Carter this morning, will you please stand, friends or family? And Carter, have you received Jesus as your Savior and trusted yes. him to forgive your sins? <laughs> Let's get on with it. All right, good job, Carter. Carter, where were you when you received Christ as your Savior? In school. In school. Some kids receive Christ at school. That's a great place to receive Christ. Carter, based upon your testimony of faith, we can call each other brother. And I baptize you, my brother. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk in newness of life. Next we have Pradeep Bastia. This is Pradeep. Pradeep, come right on over here. And uh, Pradeep, he just has quite a testimony. And uh, I'm so proud of his decision to follow in the Lord's uh, baptism, in believer's baptism. Pradeep uh, was raised a Hindu in India, and uh, he didn't know anything different until uh, a few years ago. Leo Rivera, is that right, Pradeep? Right. One of our deacons here, Leo Rivera, invited uh, Pradeep and his wife, Katya, who's from Russia, uh, to come. Katya was a, uh, an atheist, and uh, Pradeep here, Hindu, and uh, they came to Cottonwood, and God drew them to himself. Katya uh, is back here taking pictures and filming. She was baptized some time ago, and uh, just within the past month or so, Pradeep has received Christ as his savior and trusted him, and uh, what, a, what a glorious thing. And uh, Jesus said, make disciples of all nations. And so right here at Cottonwood, we get an opportunity to do that by investing in the kingdom of God. And so Pradeep, we're so proud of you and thankful for your decision. And Pradeep, have you received Jesus as your savior and trusted him to forgive your sins? Yes. Okay, Pradeep, then based upon your testimony of faith, I get to call you brother. We're brothers. 
and I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. Let's pray and give God the glory. Father, you are so good, and your grace is amazing. Who can know you other than you allow us to know you and you draw us to yourself? Your word says that no one can come to Christ unless the Father draw them. Lord, I thank you, uh, looking out at this crowd of people whom you are drawing and have drawn to you and the Pradeeps and the Katyas of the world and the graces of the world and the carters of the world and me. Thank you, Lord. I pray that if there's one here today who has not received you as Savior, that they'll do that today. And if there are those who have not followed you in believer's baptism, that they'll be obedient to your call and do that as well. In your name we pray, amen.